My name is Mark Manthe. Uh, I live in Wakefield. I'm a senior at Wakefield High School. Um, I was born in Chicago, Illinois on November 20th, 1975, and I moved to Royal Oak, Michigan in 1980. I went to school in Royal Oak, Michigan all the way up to um, 1988, where we moved here to illustrious Wakefield, and then I was transferred, obviously, to the junior high school. Um, I've been playing violin ever since I was four years old, and I've picked up the trumpet freshman year, and uh, I currently play both instruments in various performing groups in and throughout Massachusetts. Um, I've been selected to play in various honors orchestras and jazz bands, etc. Bo Stratton, I'm a senior at Wakefield High. I've, uh, I've known Mark ever since uh, junior high school when he moved here from Michigan. Um, I don't know, in junior high, we always used to think that Mark shaved his legs was a joke, going joke, right? So uh, <laughs> it's really funny that now, like, he's one of my best friends and stuff. So, um, like, we all rag on him because of that and stuff. So, but, I mean, Mark's a real good kid, and I've known him well for, like, the last three or four years, and especially this year, because um, Mark and I have been drum majors in the marching band in the fall, and, uh, you know, we've been working with each other, like, every day for five months now and like I really I like talked on the phone with him a lot and stuff and I've gotten to know him a lot better than I had before and uh, really he's come he's come across to me as like a much more mature person than he like than he does normally in school and stuff other than like the normal goofball everybody thinks he is and uh, he um, actually as a freshman like he was a goofball, like big time, and uh, it's funny when I look at the freshman now, I see a lot of what I thought Mark used to be, but he's changed a lot now, and uh, it's really funny, because, you know, he's got a couple jobs up at the mall, he's really into fashion and everything, he looks, he dresses nice and stuff, and uh, he's been going out with Trey for like three years, and that's had a, an effect on him, <laughs> it's kind of subdued him a little. He, uh, she's got a stranglehold on him, big time. <laughs> um, Oh, Mark, he's a, he's a great musician. I envy him wicked bad for that. A couple years ago at um, Northeast Districts, the, uh, the districts is when, like, you go and try out and like they put together this band out of all the kids from Massachusetts and so he goes in there and he's trying out he had already tried on a violin for the orchestra which was almost a gimme for him to make but he went and he tried out on trumpet for the uh, jazz band and he's competing against two other kids from Wakefield Chris Raines and uh, Tim McKinley who are really better than him basically what it comes down to but there's five spots open on this jazz band and he goes into his audition and, uh, you know, he plays all the stuff, and then he sits down with the judges, and he starts talking to them for about, like, half an hour and stuff, you know, joking to them about how bad the Red Sox are and stuff. And uh, so he sits there, and he's, he's joking with the judges, and, like, he offers them a bribe and stuff. So he's on a first-day basis with these guys. Chris Strains and Tim McGinley go in, and they botch their auditions. We get the results back, and Mark made second trumpet above both these kids. <laughs> Chris Raines, and I'm here to talk to you today about Mark Manthe. Mark Manthe is a unique character. He has several talents. He's a very, very wordy man. He has, he has a lot of words in his, well, he has a good vocabulary. Mark Manthe plays several instruments. He's quite talented musically picked up the trumpet his freshman year and bang he's playing it now very well his senior year four year three years later yeah. not to mention how he plays the violin quite well he's been playing it since he was a youngin let's see you want to hear me fiddle You know, 
I'm glad that I've known him and stuff. And, uh, you know, I'll go over his house and I know his mother and his dog with the two different color eyes and stuff, really whacked. I think he's going to be very successful in life and uh, it's been a pleasure to know him and uh, I, feel my, I consider myself lucky to be one of his friends.